Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how much Dragons of Tarkira I purchased. Dragons of Tarkira was actually one of these sets I purchased the least amount of. And if I'm going to repeat stuff and I'm act like I'm tired, it's because I am tired. I actually just came back from Anime Matsuri and I have to go back sometime soon. It is 6 o'clock in the morning, but I felt like I had to make my videos now or otherwise you guys wouldn't have videos for the week other than pack openings. So I purchased a case of Dragons of Tark here. Uh, the case I believe cost $460, uh, which is not bad. That's definitely like that's less than 80 bucks a box. Nope, not 460, $480. That is $80 a box. And I purchased a ton of pre-release kits. Uh, in total, I would say 20 pre-release kits, including the ones I actually went to. I'm going to assume the average pre-release kit was around 20 bucks, but the ones I went to, I only went to two actual pre-releases, was $30 and $25. So I'm going to show you all the cool dice of the kits of, and I'm going to make another video. A lot of you want to see like dice videos. I don't know. A lot of you find that interesting and I guess it is interesting. So these are all the dice. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know the best way to show you. Um, from 20 pre-release kits, uh, the pre-release kits are a very good value because every five of them, I, I'll just call it a case because it comes in a different box. Every case of pre-release kits, you are pretty much guaranteed, and again, I opened a ton of these, one Elder Dragon, and that Elder Dragon will pay for that box, or not for that box, pay for the kit, and then you have five extra booster packs that you can open. And I have a ton of just booster packs, Fate Reforged booster packs laying around because honestly I open most of the boosters on camera minus the boxes which I just opened with friends because we split Dragons of Tarkir, I feel like we split about four cases. So I got a case, my friends got, uh, one of my friends got two cases and then two of my other friends split a case. So overall a very fun set, the value is not, it's not the most valuable set eternal wise. That being said, the value is holding well for a set that the pre-release prices were not that high. Uh, the Elder Dragons are, in foil are very common in these pre-release kits. They're, you either, in every five pre-release kits you get a promo command which is worth at least 10 bucks and you get a promo Elder Dragon and that's, I have Pretty much all. I have two Atakas. I, the only one I do not have is Ojate, and I, you know, I can definitely trade for that because then I can have a complete set. So overall, Dragons of Tarkir, a very fun set to open. But I probably spent 480 pre-release kits times 10. Let's say it's 200. 680. I paid more. <laughs> I paid money for promos and stuff like that. So I'm gonna, and I actually have the dice game. So I own the dice game. And I own like promos from the dice game, which I can have my own dice game competition now, I guess. Uh, so I have Evolving Wilds, the Dragon Shaman, and even that dragon, but they're not like incredibly valuable cards. So in all in all, I would say that was like another 60 bucks. So we're at 480 plus 200, 680 uh, plus 200. No, that was plus 200. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm really tired. Uh, I just showered and I'm probably going to go back around as soon. I'm going to take a nap and then I'll go back to Anime Matsuri. Uh, so 480, let's do some math. 480 plus 200 is 680. Um, I paid another $60 for the game and then other stuff. So 680, 720, I paid for the Fat Pack case. Which actually, um, the Fat Pack on the other side, just to give you an idea, these two may be given away. Uh, if these two are not given away, these two will be given away. Um, as well as like everything else in the fat pack, but those were the two best. I believe this came from the same fat pack, I don't know, I have to rem I have the same booster pack from the fat pack contest, which is enter which is going to end Wednesday, so I'm going to pick a winner for that probably Wednesday or Thursday the latest. Uh, so go ahead and enter that contest, because I don't know when this video is going to be posted, <laughs> hopefully before the contest ends. Yeah, so what were we talking about? <laughs> okay, 480 plus uh, the fat packs I get for 180, 
480 plus 180 is 100 and no, 660? Okay, whatever, that's close enough. 860 plus another 60, 920 bucks I spent on Dragons of Tarkir, which is kind of mild compared to some of the other sets. I know Cons of Tarkir, I don't know if you can see like all the boxes behind me, but a lot of them all are Cons of Tarkir, and I still have like a ton of fat packs left. I spent probably way more than that. So $920, Dragons of Tarkir, fun set. People are gonna go ahead and say buy singles, buy singles. But if you do it smartly, the, and you open all your packs when at the hype of it, you can get very good trade value. You're not going to be able to sell it to make money, but you can trade it into a lot of staples, even especially modern staples, uh, given the fact that everyone knows that they're going to be reprinted. People are very willing to trade you know, for an Eldritch Foil, Elder Dragon, for a command, a playset of commands, into even a Vendillion Click or something like that. And I've my trade binder, I have to update my trade binder. Um, it has a lot of really good stuff and it always has a flood of good stuff after the first two weeks of a new set because I'm trading the cards that are extremely valued right now. I opened two more NAR sets. Um, no, four more NAR sets. Uh, so I have a total of six NAR sets and I traded them all away into pretty much staples, modern staples. I even legacy staples, I was able to get um, a, what did I get? I had this massive deal for, and then the end result was I got a Mox, a Mox Ruby. But I did trade two NAR sets into that deal among other, you know, legacy staples. So when you have cards that are hot and cards that are in high demand right after the pre-release, after the release, uh, that gives you a very clear window to trade for cards that, you know, I would easily buy a Mox for over $1,000. Um, this Mox is very nice. It's, uh, I don't have, this is my only Mox I currently have. So I made sure that the condition was good, that it was real, I had it double checked and all that stuff. And be able to have a trade like that by trading multiple command staples, multiple EDH dragons, multiple uh, Narsets, actually it wasn't two Narsets, I think it was a playset of Narsets, um, as well as like a playset of Force of Whales and stuff like that into um, a very, very mint Mox. So mint that I had to check two times for counterfeits. Uh, I, that makes me happy and honestly I have a blast opening packs of friends. Uh, a lot of you ask like, how much product do I buy? I would say on average at least a thousand dollars a product um, between the fat packs, the pre-release kits. This time I purchased a ton of pre-release kits, uh, mainly because there were these cards that paid for the whole kit, which were relatively common. And the commands, a lot of the commands can pay for this whole kit. Um, and then a case, a case of box, uh, uh, case of booster boxes and a case of fat packs, which I typically get for most sets. Cons of Tarkir, I went a little crazy and I purchased more, but that's probably for another video. I don't know if you guys want to know, even know how much I purchased from Cons of Tarkir, uh, but on average, I spend, a ba a <laughs> I spend about $1,000 a new set. Bye guys.